Good morning, good morning. Let's see what we can come up with for today. I don't have any pictures printed to do that. Oh, let's do this. Yes. Happen to have a little scrap of watercolor paper over here. I have my quote already. Thinking though, I might use this woodland set for this. Or maybe some of this essence. Because there's a lot of yellows and browns, siennas and stuff. Okay. A smaller brush. This one will work. All right, we're gonna fast forward this. So I'm taking my inspiration from the Ray Dunn book still, and um, she has this whimsical watercolor of a uh, Google Earth shot of a Fez market. And so that's what I'm going to do because, you know, I love markets. I love, I love, I love a, um, like a, uh, what am I trying to say? An outdoor market. And especially if they have spices in the, the best one I've ever been to. Well, I've been to two really good ones. Um, one in Greece in Athens. And I, I couldn't tell you where it was. Uh, it was just in the middle of town somewhere. And I saw this man chopping up half a pig with the biggest knife I've ever seen. It's probably like eight inches deep and a foot long. And he's just chopping that up like it was a little uh, paring knife. I mean, just bam, 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 bam. And done. The pig was done. Like, oh my gosh. Now, right now, it looks like a mess. It's going to work out. Um, I'm actually kind of liking this. Not at this stage. You got to work out the ugly. You got to work through the ugly. My other favorite, um, but there were all kinds of things in that one in Greece. There were a uh, dollar store, like kitchen utensils, and there were children's toys, and it was a huge market, and it was all kinds of stuff. It wasn't left like a flea market. It was a regular market in the center of this little neighborhood in Greece, in Athens. Or maybe Thess Thessalonica. I think it was Athens. Um, anyhow, so my second favorite, or actually it's tied for first place, were some of the markets in the old city um, in Jerusalem. Oh my gosh. Just the ambiance of walking through those, and it was amazing. And I love, there's nothing better than a little stall of spices when they're all piled up in the little mountain shapes and like sand castles. It, 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 it smells so good, and it was so fascinating. The l different languages between the natives of the and the native inhabitants of Jerusalem and the tourists and the little kids running around on their way home from school, and it was just it was amazing. Not to mention the history. Hello, uh, and the colors. The colors were just unbelievable. It smells and. Oh, Lots of leather shops, leather working shops, lots of um, textiles, like rugs, um, and lots and lots of spices, and then lots of uh, food. Oh, Paris wasn't so bad either. We stayed in the Spanish section, um, Spanish Quarter, and they had some good food in those too, good smells. Um, that's where they use those pork have those porks hanging on spits and you, they shave. Oh, yummy. That sounds good. Hmm. How can I get one of those kind of sandwiches for lunch? Yum. So I have it all labeled just like she labeled it in the book. Um, and I really like how this is coming together. Okay. I have 
made my little watercolor, which was the inspiration from Ray Dunn. And I'm looking through here, just a couple pages that are not, um, got any purpose to them. Well, none of this has purpose, but I mean, a little story tied to it or a completion. And I'm thinking it's in this colorway. I like that one, but that has stuff on it. Um, oh, I added numbers too. These numbers are from a printable from a patron thing on Little Raven Ink. I have followed her YouTube channel. She doesn't do a whole heck of a lot on YouTube anymore. It's mostly on Patreon or however you say that. And I'm not, a, I only have two Patreon accounts and I both, I got them both in the last week. Um, I'm not completely, I, I mean, I understand the purpose of it and I can appreciate that. I don't know, I'm watching it wrong or what? So I don't know. It's hard to maneuver through as a patron. It might be easy for the people, but. I really like this. I might add this, except that he's supposed to be a painter. Can he be a painter in Fez? Because this says flying into Fez, um, which is what this said right here, flying into Fez. And you know how there are buildings in some of those market souks and things are like just after 500, 600, 800 years. Their buildings are all just like jigsaw puzzles of each other. I might make this like a ghost in Fez. It doesn't have to have a story, but it really matches these colors. And my quote is from Robin Williams, who was a comedian here, and he was he lived in um, just above San Francisco in the same county where I grew up, um, off and on a lot. I think he was from Mill Valley. I think he went to Redwood High School. Fun fact, so did Huey Lewis in the news, or in that same area. You're only given a little sparkle of madness. You mustn't lose it. And this is definitely madness. So I'm thinking I might put all this together in here, but I, I don't have, I can't find, I was thinking there was another orange or sienna colored page that needed, oh, there's, yeah, llamas. I think it's gonna go here. So this must be um, in Fez. Now let's see, it needs a little trim though. To fit in here. I didn't leave a whole heck of a lot of room. Because I didn't know this is what I was going to do. You know what? I think I'm going to put this here now it covers him up her up oh okay I'll do it like this because I want to make a pocket and have a story about this man or woman and this ghost haunting Fez and then my little sparkle of madness quote can go right here Now, let's see if I can make all that work without everything falling open and apart. So we had a weird, weird day yesterday here, um, Sunday.
there was a gigantic boat parade here with a little over 1,500 boats. It wasn't a campaign stop, but it was in honor of the president, our current president, who, if you ever watched this channel, might have gotten the bright hint that he's not my favorite person. And I kept seeing boats come in our cove. Now, it was way down on the other end of the lake. It was down by the dam. But they said the last type of parade like that, non-traditional parade, they had 1,100 units in it. And this one had 1,500, 1,500 boats with gigantic Trump flags everywhere. They had parachute people coming in. Um, it was crazy. It was all over the news. We didn't even know it was happening because that's not our bag. Kept seeing our neighbor going in and out and they had five Trump flags on their boat. It's like, really? Is that necessary? Quit going by our house. <laughs> I told my husband, I said, you're going to have to bail me out of jail. I said the next time they go up, I mean, they must have gone up and down our cove about five or six times. They live like five houses down from us. We're the only one in this cove without a Trump flag practically anymore. And, um, anyhow, it was awful. And my husband saw, coming home from the grocery store, our only outing, practically, a, um, stand selling Trump flags. And he goes, there was almost a traffic jam trying to get people in and out. Okay, so this painter is in Fez because this is when he was flying into Fez. It takes a, after, then he came across a ghost, or this might be the ghost of this painter, but it's just a sparkle of madness. You're only given a little sparkle of madness. You mustn't lose it. Robin Williams. I might have more than a little sparkle of madness because I think I'm mad. Oh, I love all that together. Ooh. And that was from there. I was going to do something about a Paris apartment because I found a couple more website or YouTube videos about apartment shopping in Paris. Oh. Apartment hunting. Fun. Okay, that's it. Need to come home from Fez in time to make dinner. Have a good day. Bye.